Welcome back everyone. I am surprisingly making some good progress. So I'm a little worried. <laughs> but that is much better than me being stuck on something for like what an hour? Alright, Hassan. Ready to sail? Yes. And I do believe I know what to do with that butterfly net now. Yes, butterfly net. It's obvious. Come on, guys. That 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 was kind of obvious. Now let's go get us a butterfly. I'm really proud of myself for figuring that out. Now imagine that, I almost spent like a day trying to figure that out and I got it instantly. How, how cool is that? Come on guys. How, how many people figure that out one time? I, You know they got the net, they're like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I'm supposed to, oh wait, it's the stick thing I left there, who knew? So cool. Oh, see, <coughs> how was that? Oh my goodness! No, those sneeze and you know when you sneeze and cough at the same time. Yeah, that's annoying. All right. That was obvious. Is Blocky still here? The widow doesn't seem very happy. Grim had better stay away from her for the rest of the day, or a week, or forever, and keep an eye open at nights when he goes to bed or wanders into a shadowy room. Okay, so Blocky isn't too fond of us. Ah, jeez. Gram is broken. Why is my computer slowing down? I don't think I have anything downloading in the background. I actually didn't even want to go here. Alright. Graham did a great job saving her from the spider. Now if he could only get it free from the webbing without hurting her. Unfortunately, they are incompatible. Why not? That won't work, but keep trying. If it makes you feel any better, I would have tried that too. But then we'd both be wrong. Okay, how about you guys? Ben considers it, but then decides not to. Wait, you know what? How about you two? Unfortunately, they are incompatible. Hmm. Not really sure. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, I am making some good progress today. Well, I'm kind of hungry though. 
Okay, that's creepy. Let's talk to you. You're not a pickpocket, Graham. No, no, I wanted to talk to him. Oh my goodness. Alright. Greetings, good merchant. Ah, none other than King Graham himself, honoring this humble man by visiting his store. How could I be of service to you in these tragic times, your majesty? The Green House. My son told me stories of how you helped him greatly during his quest. You're a well-traveled man, aren't you? Like father, like son. They say the riches of knowledge always surpass generations. Funny how the story of a Deventrian seeking this humble knowledge repeats itself as well. Contrary to my heart's desires, I'm lucky that the Green Islanders are fair people willing to lend a hand. The people here in the Isle of the Crown are fairly normal, ordinary people but with good hearts. I've always had a taste for the simple life. Yet you travel through many lands. Care to enlighten me with some tales of your journeys? I'd be glad to, but my children need me. I'm sure you can spare a couple of minutes. Let's make a deal. For every land I tell you about, you tell me the story of one of your adventures. Sounds fair? Very fair. Ask away. There's the Isle of the Sacred Mountain, the Isle of Wonder, the Isle of the Beast, the Isle of the Crown, of course, and finally, the Isle of Mist. My gosh. Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna cut off here because this is looks like it's gonna be long. So I don't want it to get interrupted, so I'm gonna cut off here and come back to the video. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and stay tuned for the next video.